detail what kind of technologies you are deploying to, in a sense, help at least green to a certain extent the data centers rather than not being green at all? <laughs> sure, our role at Munters is to figure out how do we reject the heat that's liberated from all these servers most efficiently. For every watt of electricity that's consumed by the compute, there's a watt of heat that's liberated. Mm. So that's a lot of heat that has to be rejected from the building. And so we started out uh, looking at package systems that used forms of evaporative cooling, where water was actually evaporated uh, to improve, enhance the efficiency. Mm -hmm. And while those systems are still being deployed to, to some degree, they're on a decline because of the high consumption of water mm -hmm. and the desire to become waterless. Mm -hmm. And therefore, and also due to the scale of the amount of heat that needs to be rejected, uh, packaged units were no longer practical. The mm -hmm. amount of air that had to be removed for air cooling resulted in massive duct work and so forth. So we've reverted to what's referred to as a split system. Mm -hmm. That has a heat absorption component that's in the space and a heat rejection element that's typically on the roof or around the perimeter of the building.